in the news. Remains of 23-year-old comedian and social media influencer Bracken Face found by police. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has been sworn in for another five-year term amid political challenges. Kremlin dismisses revelations accusing Russian president of wealth amassed abroad, says unconfirmed details coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you are watching TOS News 360. The Delta State Police has confirmed the remains of 23-year-old Delta State-born comedian and social media influencer Onuma Popo Ogene Chokome, popularly known as Bracken Face. Police spokesperson in Delta State, DSP Bright Edafe, disclosed to journalists that the popular comedian was found dead in his apartment on Sunday morning. The country home of a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, Joe Igbokwe, was set on fire in Newi. Igbokwe accused members of the indigenous people of Biafra for the incident in a Facebook post on Sunday. He said, I pub invaded my house in Newi about now. I am sure they raised down my house, giving them the jerrycans of petrol being offloaded from the Sina via CCTV. And Cardinal State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arwan, has confirmed the killing of two villagers after gunmen attacked Nguan Taila village, Zangun Kataf local government area of Kaduna state residents. Samuel said the troops of Operation Safe Haven arrived in the village and found out that the gunman had killed two residents. Meanwhile, Governor Nasir Rufai has expressed deep regret at further loss of life from such attacks in the area. And now to Africa, Ethiopia's parliament has confirmed Abiy Ahmed as prime minister for another five-year term on Monday, merging his power domestically amid mounting international concern of his government and handling of conflict in northern Ethiopia. Ahmed's party won a landslide victory in June's election. He has sworn in on Monday and a ceremony was found being held later in the capital Addis Ababa, attended by several African heads of state. President Saleh Wak Zeldi told parliament on Monday the government priorities include easing inflation, which has hovered around 20% this year, and the cost of living, as well as reducing unemployment. And now to Ivory Coast, the Ivorian League for Women's Rights has asked for legal support for women, accusing Ivorian Minister for Reconciliation, Kwado Conan Burton, of rape. According to the League's officials, the victim's lawyer has withdrawn and the association has no money to pay another lawyer. Prosecutors in the country said Wednesday they had opened an investigation into a rape accusation against former presidential candidate and reconciliation minister Kwadio Conan Burton. This is your digital first Pan African News Network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360. Africa Global Business and Sports Stories on Return. Stay with us. Thank you for staying. Amnesty International on Monday urged Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed to enhance the human rights situation in the country after he was sworn in for his second five-year term in a nation that's in the grip of a nearly year-long war. Fisay Hartikel, who is a researcher with the organization, said that Ahmed should also use his new mandate to ensure accountability for human rights violations that have happened in the past Heading into his new term as Prime Minister, Ahmed faces major challenges as the 11-month war in the Tigray region spreads into other parts of the country. Deadly ethnic violence continues and watchdogs warn that repressive government practices are under return. And now to global sin, Russia has dismissed revelations linked, leaked in the Pandora Papers as unconfirmed claims after an investigation by a media consortium shone a light on wealth allegedly amassed by Kremlin-linked individuals. The Pandora Papers investigation involving some 600 journalists from media including the Washington Post, the BBC and the Guardian is based on a leak of 11.9 million documents from 14 financial services companies around the world. The files were leaked to the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and published on Sunday. Putin is not directly named, but he is linked via associates to secret assets in Monaco, notably a waterfront home acquired by Russian women reported to have had a child with the Russian leader. Analysis of data from the Nigerian Exchange Limited revealed that investors in the equity market recorded 521.46 billion naira gain in September, despite losses in 85 firms against 35 gainers. 
The all share index increased by 2.55% from 39,217.61 basis points to close at 40,221.17 basis points, while the market capitalization of stocks also increased by 2.55%, reaching 20.96 trillion era at the beginning of the month. Trading volumes increased at 6.8 billion shares worth 61.04 billion now were exchanged in 81,215 deals on the floor of the exchange in September, compared to 5.04 billion shares worth 44.99 billion naira traded in 83,047 deals. In talking sports, Japanese Naomi Osaka has dropped out of the women's top 10 for the first time since winning the 2018 US Open title. Former world number one has not played since exiting the US Open in the third round last month. Osaka has fallen to 12th in the WTA rankings, her lowest mark since before her first of four Grand Slam titles at Flushing Medals three years ago when she beat Serena Williams in an infamous final. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first pin African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Many thanks for watching.